Uh, he gains dice as one of his weapons, and they're really fun for doing like bizarre amounts of mul multiplicative damage. All right, everyone, time for a night at the opera. Ah, oh, it's you again. We've read that letter. So, Setzer's coming to snatch Maria away. He'll probably appear right at the climax of the first act. He loves to make an entrance. Oh. Alright, well, when he shows up, we'll jump out and nab him. Oh dear me, no, you'll ruin the performance and I'll lose my job. But if you don't do anything... Oh, this is simply horrible. I want the performance to be a success, but I don't want Maria to be abducted. Oh. Well, then let him grab her. Hmm. What? We'll use a decoy. Once he's got her, we'll follow him right back to his airship. And if all goes well, we should be able to command Aaron. Are you mad if anything should happen to Maria? Ugh. Th 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 that's why we use the decoy! We can hide Maria someplace safe. Come again. You said Celis looks like Maria, right? Ah! Uh, no, just a minute! She can be our Maria. We'll let Setzer kidnap her and lead us to his airship. Ah, oh, brilliant! <laughs> Hold on here! I I'm a former general, not some uh, opera floozy! Ah! Uh. Surprise plan for you all, just like Setzer. Oh, it'll be tons of fun. Come on, we better get to work. We gotta make a star out of you, Celis. Yeah! Isn't anyone gonna read it? between the East and West was growing more violent by the day. Draco, a soldier from the West, thinks of his love, Maria, back at home.
my words whispered in your ear, how that I work by your side. Hey, I'm gonna go check on things in the dressing room. Oh, I hope this works! Hey, go on, give her some encouragement. Huh? Why is everyone singing? Let's look through the score really quick. Scene 1. Oh my hero, my beloved, shall we still be made to part, though promises of perennial love yet sing here in my heart. I'm the darkness, you're the starlight, shining brightly from afar. Through hours of despair, I offer this prayer to you, my evening star. Must my final vows exchange it be with him and not with you, were you only here to quiet my fear? Oh speak, guide me anew. This is where you pick up the flowers, climb the stairs, toss the flowers from the highest balcony. Be sure to finish by the end of the interlude, there isn't much time before the start of scene two. Impresario. Oh. Have you... always been that pretty? Uh. Locke. Why did you stand up for me when you did? Because I'm tired of standing by and doing nothing while I lose the girls I like. Am I just a replacement for her? Uh, that ribbon looks nice on you. I have to go on stage soon. This next scene's an important one. Maria starts to worry that something's happened to Draco, and pours her feelings into song. Uh, shouldn't you check the score one last time? Well, we just read it, so... The Western armies were defeated, and Maria's castle fell into the hands of the East. Forced to wed the Eastern Prince Ralza, Maria still thinks only of Draco as she gazes at the stars each night. Our next line is... Oh, my hero, my beloved, Shall we still be made to part? Though promises of perennial love Yet sing here in my heart I'm the darkness you're the starlight shining brightly from afar. Through hours of despair, I offer this prayer to you, my evening star. Must my final vows exchange and be with you? And not with you. Were 
Come, Maria, dance with me. Prince Rawls is looking for his dance partner. Please leave the past behind. Our kingdom is part of the East now. guys one, so I'm gonna jam up your opera! Ultros. Uh-oh. I better tell the impresario. Survivors attack! Impossible! Attack! Wait! Insolent rogue, knave of the western horde, you would address my queen to be Maria. Never shall you have Maria's hand. I would die before that day comes. Then it's a duel. But how is she planning to disrupt the opera? With that? <laughs> Let's 
see if Maria can shrug this off! Ah! This is heavier than I thought! It's gonna take me five minutes to push this thing off! We haven't a second to lose! Talk to the stagehand in the room up on the right! He'll help you get up there! Leave it to us! Not that room on the right. Shoot. The Impresario sent you. You need to get up to the catwalks? Lower the switch on the far right, but don't touch any of the others. Huh? Oh, rats! Whoa! Oh, oh no, this will never do! With those two flattened, there's no one to win the girl! How can the story possibly continue?
Neither Draco nor Rouse will win Celis' hand. It is I, Locke, the world's premier adventurer, who shall take her as my wife. Oh dear, what dreadful acting. Silence, knave! You stand in the presence of octopus royalty! A lowborn thief like you could never defeat me! I challenge you to a duel! Uh, might as well make the most of this. Music! It's me again! <laughs> Long time no see! Did you miss me? It again! I feel like such a sucker! Well, kids, I hate to eat and run, but I am an octopus! <laughs> Hold it right there! My compliments on a most impressive performance! <laughs> Sutsu! I'm a man of my word, Impresario. I'm taking Maria. <laughs> Unforeseen twists at every turn! Just as we think Maria is to become Locke's new bride, she's dragged off by Sutsu instead. What fate lies in store for her now? Be sure to come back and see part two!